Well, I was just walking along Bass Creek and I found something a little bit interesting. This guy right here is a wonderfully named dog vomit slime mold. It has nothing to do with dogs, it has nothing to do with vomit, and it's not even a mold. This guy is a collection of single-celled organ organisms living in a colony. So let's talk about slime mold. Slime molds are a colony of single-celled organ organisms. So think amoeba-like, all right? So they're classified as protistas, as a separate kingdom of life. Even though protista is a little problematic because protista is just a hodgepodge collection. It's what's called polyphyletic. It's just, there's no correct way to organize these forms of life yet. We're not there yet. So we kind of have this catch-all of all these single-celled organisms called protista. So this is classified as a protista. So this is millions, if not billions, of single-celled organisms that are collectively living. So they will come out, they're decomposers. They live on decomposing wood. So this tree here, and I can feel under the bark, there's some rot underneath the bark, so it's decomposing. So the slime mold is coming in there to eat, basically. So it's this collective organism. So we classify as one thing, but this is billions of single cells living together in a cooperative organism. And the funniest thing is there's these, these tendrils. They call it a plasmoid, plasmoid odium. It has all these tendrils. And there's, there are so many little cells that there's almost an intelligence to it of how it maneuvers through its environment. This isn't like a fungi, hence the name mold. It's not a fungi that's in one spot. This is an active organism, well, collection organism, that's moving through its environment. So every time I see this, I would don't want to call it dog vomit slime mold. Let's call it Falgio septeca, which is the Latin name for this guy. So next time you're out in the woods and it's, it's post rain, especially post rain and it's warm afterwards, you can go find this and look for decomposing bark, decomposing mulchy kind of areas, and you can find this awesome critter.